my mother always wanted me to make a good marriage and she wanted me to have children. Um, what can I say about that? I was unable to have children, unfortunately. So I made the best of it and I decided to build houses and buy and sell real estate. <laughs> along with the insurance. <laughs> well, that seems reasonable to me. <laughs> but it, it, uh, it, it says, to, you know, it, it just says, one of the things that, that I'm, I'm, the reason I'm, I'm going back to it, or I went back to it, was because it does seem that you had an exceptional either upbringing, messages given to you as a young woman about what you were capable of, Mm -hmm. what could be expected of you um, and my sense is is that the expectations of your parents were quite high mm -hmm. for you uh, if you were going to describe your mother for instance as a person just as a person what kind of what kind of person was she she was a very fine woman she was very quiet didn't have much to say but when she said something she meant it uh, she was very disciplined herself, and she passed that on to us. Uh, she was always interested in us getting a proper education, stay in school. My oldest brother became a psychiatrist, not a psychiatrist, a psychologist. He was a Ph.D. in psychology. Uh, the middle brother uh, owned a hotel. The younger brother was an electrician and worked for the city of New York. But everybody was, you know, pretty much self-sufficient and did very well. And uh, your father, what kind of person was he? Uh, my father was a very strong person. Uh, he didn't let anyone fool with him at all. Um, as I said, don't mess with me, and I guess I got that from him. But um, he too was a disciplinarian. And I think both of them set an example for, for the four of us. And we perhaps walked right into their shoes, as we did as they wanted us to do. And education was at the core. Mm -hmm. And clear achievement, finding a direction. Yes. And even for you as the girl, responsibility for your own future. Absolutely.